Okay, Morris. So thanks for uh, taking a little time out to talk to us today. And uh looks like you have a, a really great time when you perform on stage, like a big party up there. So do you, do you go on stage in a good mood naturally, or do you have to prepare for this? Like, how, how do you get ready for a show? Well, I mean, it's it's almost like irregardless of how I'm feeling, you know, once the band fires up the first note, you know, you ju- we just go there. You know, it, um, it's it's hard to not be in a good mood. You know, when uh, once the music starts playing. And for your show these days, uh, you, is there a certain? Do you focus a lot on the stuff around Purple Rain time, or you know, you feel fix the stuff? What what are you what are playing? Do you cover any any other other people's music or? Oh no, we don't we don't do anybody else's music. That's um, you know, I I know a lot of artists do that, but it's just not, you know, fun for me personally because I grew up in um, bands and that's all we did was other people's music. So, you know, quite naturally for me, once we had a a, a list of our own music that we could go through. You know, I'm I'm sticking to that. Now we we can change the arrangements and do all kind of you know cool stuff with it, and and you know I just we you know freshen up the show to keep it fun for us and fun for everybody else, but we stick to our own stuff. And uh, these days, how many members of the original band do you have with you? You have a few, right? People have been with you for a long time. Yeah, there's three of us on stage, three original. Uh-huh. And do you have any plans to get everybody back together again? I think it's been a few years since you had the whole group together, right? Well, we did that, yeah, in um, 11, um, and it was called the original seven. Uh, for legal reasons, um, we weren't able to use the time even though I tour as Morris Day in the time, and that's only because nobody can bother me about that. I'm sure mm-hmm. if they could, if they could, mm-hmm. they would, but they, but they can't. So anyway, yeah, we did uh, um, the, um, we, we dropped the CD uh, called Condensate in 11, and it, it was, it did well. It was a great album, but it was, uh, it was, it was interesting getting back with everybody, but, you know, I kind of like uh, doing what I do with, uh, uh, more stay in the time and you know uh as you mentioned earlier we bring the party and uh you know that's that's just how uh I'd rather roll these days it was a little painful working with all the original members not that you know everybody's cool and I'm cool with everybody but you got a lot of chiefs everybody used to be in a chief in the room mm-hmm. and ain't no indians <laughs> right yeah someone's got to be the leader they, yeah. yeah yeah you're right and I have a question uh, too about, I think it was a show back in 2008, you did some shows in Vegas, and uh, was there any any plans to do like a DVD, like a live DVD to release any footage from that, or, you know, it seems like the kind of thing would be a, a big a big seller for you to have like a live DVD out there. It seemed like we had talked about all of that stuff. I mean, we had a lot of, you know, plans and grand plans and ideas. Um, focused all around the original members, but um, I don't know. Uh, it just, it was just chaotic from the beginning, and, and, and it just never launched properly. So, you know, I, I kind of, you know, just had to walk away and get back to doing my own thing. Right, right. So I was uh, a little scared by this, but check the year, and it's been... 30 years, I think, since uh, Purple Rain came out, like 1984. I'm doing the math right. I can't believe it. Um, so I wanted to ask you one that questions about being in the movie and, and uh, what it was like. Um, so, you know, what are your stories from that time? Was that a really incredible experience to make a movie like that and, and the impact that it had? It, it, it was an incredible time because it was all innocent. You know, we... You know, uh, Prince and his camp, you know, were like, hey, you know, guys, we're going to do a movie. And uh, we're like, oh, really? You know, well, whatever. <laughs> so uh looked up and we were doing a movie, you know. And um, 
you know, I had no expectations about it, you know, had never done anything like that before. So uh, it, it all just kind of took off, and uh, it was it was crazy. Now, I think uh, people probably associate you with that character. Um, so are you like him at all, or is it completely fictitious, or a little bit of a mixture? Or? Well, I was definitely, back then when I was in my 20s, I was definitely like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but you know things have changed and 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 uh you know uh, I I I don't necessarily live the lifestyle like I did back then. Um I was living eating and breathing it and um uh and sleeping it and and um but now you know uh, I could turn it on and off. I got the on and off switch. I didn't have an off switch back then. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that off as you get older, I guess, right? You, you don't yeah, get you older. Don't make it. You, know? you got to have it. <laughs> so, uh, and I guess, you know, talking about the movie and, and Prince, obviously, it was the, the star of the movie. And, and uh, he's, I think he's still kind of like a mystery to a lot of people. Uh, you know, he's had so many different alter egos and, you know, different public faces, different parts of his career. But uh, you actually, you know, knew, know him. You knew him well at the time. So, you know, what was that like to work with Prince? And, you know, is he mysterious to you, too, or do you think you you know him? Or Well, you know what? Um, the guy is a, he, he's a, he's a musical genius, uh, and he's an asshole. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and, and back then he was a good friend, so he was all of those, like, wrapped into one package, you know. And so, um, it was really, uh, great to see how he could create out of nothing back then, you know, um, we would, uh, sit up in the studio and fire up a drum beat. You know, I used to play drums on most everything and we'd start with bass and drums and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we have a great song, you know, and, and, um, literally at the end of the day, you know, and so, or it, it, it starting at night by morning, we had something great and, you know, it was just pretty amazing to, you know, uh, see how he could just, uh, come up with stuff. And, um, you know, he, he's very, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to think of a good word, but just a, uh, complicated individual to know, even as a friend, you know. And, um, but it was all, it was all good, man. It was a, it was a great experience in my life, and you know, uh, I learned a lot, and um, it, it was just—it was really cool. And uh, do you think you'd ever work together again, or is that not not likely to happen? At this point, right here, sitting right now, as I sit in Indianapolis in a hotel, looking out into the cold city, I don't see that happening. But you know, uh, uh, it, you never know. Um, I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but I just don't see that lining up. So uh, what do you, what are you thinking about for the future? You're doing these you do these live dates, and uh, you want to record some more music or do more acting, or what, what's what's next for you? Well, I, I, life has taught me that I'm not an actor. I don't know, <laughs> you know. I I, I, um, I did that. I didn't like the work part of it. Um, I didn't like getting up at four or five in the morning and being on a set at 6 o'clock and hurry up and get ready and then sitting there and waiting all damn day. And and uh, it was a lot of work, uh, and I don't like to work. And um, I, I just learned that I'm not an actor. If somebody calls me and, and, and wants me to do something in particular and it sounds good and, you know, not too time-consuming, I'll do it. But I'm a musician. That's what I love. That's really how I got into this whole game. And, um, I'm fortunate to be able to, you know, be out here and people still dig what we do. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm feeling that. And, you know, we, we, we're going to record. We're always recording, but we're going to put some more stuff out here uh, in the near future. And, um, you know, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm fortunate to be able to go out here and, and, and make a good living doing what I love doing. I don't love acting at all. <laughs> 
So it sounds like music's not music's not really work for you. It just sort of comes comes more naturally, or yes, it's it's what I do. I was a musician, you know, when we started doing Purple Rain. I was afterwards, even though Hollywood came knocking and offered me a multi picture deal, and for some reason that shit didn't work out. And uh, you know that was a little bit depressing, and it, it kind of threw me off track. But you know, as as I uh, woke up and uh, looked around and, uh, you know, I said, you know, I, I got my music and I need to get back to that and concentrate on that. And that's what I've pretty much been doing once I had that realization and it's been great.